Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dawn of Man with me, Unite the Clans. If you were here live, I'm sorry, I am two minutes late, but uh, welcome. Uh, I have uh, a lot in store for you. Uh, I've just been playing some Atlas this morning and I had a terrible accident in which I sank one of Arali's boats. Uh, he just replied and made me laugh. Uh, I owe him a boat. Uh, <laughs> it had me slightly distracted, and the chaos of that is the reason that I am a few minutes late. Um, but uh, thank you for joining me. We are going to pick up where we left off. Before we do, I wanted to check here and show you we are four steps into the ten, uh, I forget what they call these, monoliths, accomplishments, achievements. Um, ending with a hundred people in the settlement and getting into the the age of making steel so we are bringing our our, our our civilization forward as we go and if i just click continue we will dive back into where we left off on saturday morning we're going to be doing this every morning around 11 a.m until we get to the end of this first scenario so if you are enjoying the series be sure to go ahead and subscribe click the like button hit me up in the comments if you're watching this as a replay let me know what you think of the game i've been a little bit slow uh, to catch up uh, he doesn't see a rally doesn't seem too bummed i was building the large shipyard and my plan was to build a brigantine on our new private server and uh I guess my shipyard collided with the back of his boat and everything seemed fine. And then I went to go move his boat and it just boom, like exploded. It was ridiculous. Um, good morning, Waldo. Good morning, Vio. And don't, don't worry. Relax and watch. If you're watching live, don't worry about chit chat and just let me keep you company for the morning. I will give you a rundown of where we left things off. Uh, let's begin here with research. We are... Uh, one chunk of research away from unlocking the Neolithic era. In our first stream, episode one, we completed everything in the Paleolithic path. Uh, in our second stream, we completed everything in the Mesolithic path. But before we could unlock the era, we had to hit pottery. So today we will get to work on the Neolithic. There are a lot more items, and they are a lot, they are not more expensive there are just more of them uh, so we probably won't complete the neolithic era in the two hours i plan to stream this morning um but we will see some of your people have no warm clothing wild horse has escaped has escaped what's that mean we haven't got horse domestication yet that's coming up way down the line what does that mean wild horse has escaped what kind of what kind of fool nonsense are they talking here how far is this even from my camp very far I don't know what that is. Some of your people have no warm clothing. Well, we're up to 24 uh, people. Uh, and uh, is our Zoom? Oh, there's a Zoom I didn't know about. Okay, perfect. Um, so we're up to 24 people. So we've got these two crafting stations. We have production on for warm and cold clothing. Uh, let's take it off this for the moment. And let's make sure we go to work on these. I think we'll need at least four of them something like that and we'll move that so to make these we need what dried skins we don't have many but we have raw skins so that can be turned into leather i think we should probably stop production on this and this for a brief moment and stop making leather and make dried skins instead here i am busy making bows as well as tools we have five bows currently and we are working on our advancing a trader has arrived indeed okay let's see maybe you can sell me some dried skins you can sell warm clothing at 10 a piece well let's see what i have to trade so if we were to take all of those that would be 50. okay but she is a low commission trader so that would be 50 plus a commission of 15 so we would need one more of those and we need something worth five we could give her some logs how about that there you go so that solves that should solve our immediate problem let's go here 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 and we'll put both those back into steady production and i will activate these again Perfect. That immediately solved our problem. That is great. Good timing, trader. I'm happy to make a, a big valuable trade with you. We now have 25 warm clothing. It's spring, so it's not urgent that we have warm clothing for our people. We are expanding our um, living area, and we are building a second area for survival. This, uh, three people per hut. So this, this little pod here that I've taken the time to build, and I think it's quite nicely laid out, if you ask me. This has been built... Uh, uh, for 24 humans so we need to uh, expand we ha now have population for 27 30 this will be 33 and 36 so we have the op we'll have 
50% vacant space. Uh, by the time those are done, you can see all our drying racks are active, uh, currently turning raw skin into dry skin, and all of our hunting, all of our meat drying racks are pretty active. We have a good supply of meat. It's spring, so now is probably a good time for me to get fishing underway. Let's see. Lots of fish. So let's go ahead and up this so we can have, say, four people doing that. Is there a fishing area over here? Yes. So let's go ahead and put four people on that. And we will make sure that we are active with fishing for the next little while. Do I have a hunting zone still? Do I have an area? Yeah. I think that's what this is. Anything that wanders into this area gets hunted. But clearly they are going way beyond those limits, aren't they? They're killing stuff out here. So that's a mouflon. That's a wild horse. Oh, maybe that's what they meant. A horse we were taming. Uh, had escaped so they are going well beyond the borders of that the thing that I set up for them I wonder if I should dismantle that for now or, or or reduce the number of people working in it you know what let's just dismantle it they'll finish up the jobs they've already got going and we'll set up a new one in a little bit I think uh, we've got a couple more sledges under construction here I think we have built seven of them so I think I'm gonna build a few more Uh, right here. Right here. Alright, that's either going to bring us to 9 or 10. I can't remember how many we have built. Um, construction underway here. This is a mortar. This turns wheat into bread. That is something that we will get uh, to unlock today. I think uh, somewhere here, not thatching. Uh, right here, cereal domestication. So we'll be able to start farming. Uh, we'll also be able to start domesticating animals, which I'm excited for. Goats, sheep, and pigs. So that will be the moof, the ibex, maybe the mouflon and the boar, and we'll turn them into familiar domesticated animals, the same way we turned wolves into dogs. Our ancient human ancestors did, and we will as well. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the game so far, guys. What do we got here? A pear tree, and that's in a gathering zone. So these things should get gathered. So should uh, these over here. These are blackberry bushes, and we have one more gathering bush over here. And you can see late spring, early summer is when these things f fruit. So we've got blueberries and strawberries. Strawberries. Blueberries uh, under construction. Uh, good morning to Kohaku, to Turtle, to Steve Tony, Shane. Stephanie, good morning to all of y'all. And uh, and y'all are chatting with each other. Nice. Uh, I saw Wicked Turtle on the private Atlas server yesterday. I should have a video of that maybe out later today, guys. It should be fun. I'm going to build a brigantine whenever I get done with construction here. Or with uh, streaming here this morning. Um, I don't have much on my plate for the day. Just planning my week and, and figuring out what kind of videos and streams I want to bring in. I think we're going to do this every morning this week, uh, Monday through Friday at least, and we'll see how deep into the game we've gotten. Uh, I'm hoping that by the end of the week, Friday or Saturday, we can get into the Iron Age and, and complete some of this stuff. I think it'll be fun. Um, yeah, 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 all is well. Crafters busy, underway. We're making some clothing over here, and we'll, workload is too high. Hunted mouflon times 10, knowledge plus 1. Okay, so I think it's probably good to have those hunters out and about. The more that we do that, the more knowledge points we get once we've killed 10 of a thing. Let's go primal vision and see what's around us um, for hunting, because I still want to bring you a mammoth hunt. That is a that is one of my one of my goals. But yesterday, there was only one mammoth that we could find. Not yesterday, Saturday. There was only one mammoth we could find, and he was way 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 out here those are bears he was beyond this last mountain it was ridiculously far that we had to go to find a singular mammoth and even now he might be just gone so the mammoth hunt continues to elude us but we will get there eventually guys we will find a, ma a mammoth and we will slaughter it following the rivers is kind of the key to figuring out where these beasts are was the mammoth up this way Oh, that's the end of the line. Following the rivers, and then there are a couple of watering holes as well. A couple of lakeside areas that get uh, a lot of spawns that are potential starter areas for your village. I think this is one over here. So if we get up here, you see, okay, here's a large area. This is where we first saw mammoths. Nothing spawning over here right now. It doesn't seem like there. Okay, 
All right, so here's the mammoth, old female. This is what we would have to go for. It would be a brutal hunt, and they are in such a difficult location to get to. Look at that. It's like they fortified themselves there to prevent me from hunting them. So we'll have to keep an eye on that herd, and if I can find my way back to a river. Yeah, okay, so here's a river, a giant lion pride right here, and... Okay, so they are they are well out there, but maybe they will migrate down in our direction eventually, um, and we will have some some of the biggest game to hunt. For now, uh, we don't have a hell of a lot near us, so we've just got our early human population. We've got lots of supplies of meat. Uh, with when spring is done, we should have lots of supplies of fish. You can see them slowly clearing out these uh, fishing areas. There you go until they are no longer viable for us. But at the moment, we got lots. Gathering up that uh, early summer fruit and stuff, we should have a good supply of that. There's a little bit of bread in storage. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff, guys. We're, we're doing well overall. Um, uh, I'll fast forward a little bit here and there and try and advance us through things. I think uh, let's set up a new hunting zone for our people where, because uh, I guess that is pretty valuable. Um, so if, say, I put one here, you know what? I don't like that location. Let's put let's put one, I think I had the perfect location earlier. Somewhere up here seems to be the way to go. Uh, so if we go ahead and put a hunting, 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 boom. We'll put that somewhere right here. And we'll make sure that up to three people can do it. Okay. That should keep us, that should keep them busy. You can see they hunt way up in here, way up into this area, so... That's, I guess this is just like their start. This is where they meet and then they set out to go find things from there as opposed to hunting things that enter that particular area. All right, let's fast forward a little. Here's all that warm clothing I bought. The music is great. I'm very excited to get us into animal domestication so I should spend a lot of time in fast forward mode today. See if we can advance through a couple of seasons, a couple of winters, and uh, get the points for surviving another year. It's seven points a pop as we go. Workload is too high still. That's because of all the fishing. Uh, let's check and see. Is it... Have the fish died off for the summer? Not yet. Not entirely. Nearly. Okay, so let's lower this to two. And let's lower this to two. How are we doing for water supplies? We don't have a lot of water, so let's check this out. Maybe I'll put a third person on that. A boar has escaped. I see. Okay, I understand. Okay, wait. Let's pause here. Uh, we have a great opportunity here. Uh, to, if we can... Oh, no. We had a great opportunity here. Well, we might. Let's wait for this herd to reconvene. You know what? Let's just go after it. You wander into our camp, you're dead, you bunch of freaks. Oh my god. Save him. Save this guy. Yep, perfect. Get the babies. Get this one. You don't bring your herd in here. Who do you think you are? Okay, and what happened to the rest of the herd? Hunt him. Pursue him. Put pressure on him. Here's some right here. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we need... That guy's gonna die. That's another male. This guy's gonna probably die. Nope, okay. It's running. It's coming back for more. Okay, you're gonna be dead. Yeah, your Gazor died. <laughs> Dang it. It's so much meat to... Okay, we gotta kill this thing. You do not get away with killing your Gazor and live to tell the tale, my friend. I'm bringing all of humanity's violence down to bear on you. Stupid bull. I will domesticate ye as the day goes on. By the way, is this just a child? Why would a child be leading the attack? Korok, go home. Go home, child. Let the men do the work. The men and the women. We all we all contribute in this community. Look at oh the herd is reassembled. More more meat for us. This one is dead. I hope he knows that. Man, Yurgazor almost ended him. 
almost ended him. Okay, so let's let's zoom in here. We'll go watch Drad, who was one of our grannies. In fact, this is a lot of grandmas out on this hunt. I know they sort of merge themselves together when they walk, but what are you gonna do? Right? Now what? Go after the female? Anyone have a knife? Yeah, you have a knife. Get to work on that butchery job. You guys made a big mistake wandering out here. I hope you realize that. Your time is limited. My fault for letting Yurgazor take on that Orox one on one. Kill the whole herd. All right, this is our hunting grounds, guys. This is it. All right, let our people go back to work. I assume they will sort that out. They will bring back a massive amount of meat. Yep, you can see all these carts are being used. I think uh, probably this one is being used for meat. What is your job, Jarak? I don't think you are going to be doing the butchering, but you can see the carts get used for meat. That is one of the that is one of the sledges right here. A couple of things of raw meat on it. A couple of things of hide. All right, let's fast forward again. The game runs very well. For a pre, it's pre-release. It's not even out on early access yet. Uh, it will eventually be out on early access. I think March first, and I think when it comes out in March first, it will be an early access game. But I don't even know that. Um, I'm not sure if it says that on the site. Okay, look at these people coming back, doing work. Fantastic. Got a tree chopper there. Got a tree chopper here. No, that's not a tree chopper, right? We don't have any tree choppers. Okay, and autumn sets in. Look at our, we have 72 meat. This population should blow. It should grow like crazy. Um, we're going to have to build a new tribute for old Yurgazor. We've built one for each of the people that have died uh, so far. So if I go here, spiritual, and slap a totem in, uh, we will put a new totem. Right there. That should do the trick. Okay, work area exhausted, obtain flint. Oh no. Which flint area is exhausted? Is it this one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Wait, do I still have people over here even? I don't know that I do. Uh, well, we can cycle through work areas. So let's go ahead and do this. We go extract water, gather sticks, uh, collect plants, hunt, fish, collect plants. Wait, is that what that was? Yeah, that one was for plants. Collect tannin. And you know what? How are we doing on the tannin front? Let's make, keep that a one-person job. Um, more sticks. And you know what? There's barely any sticks left here, so let's move that off. Uh, that's for spring. That's for chopping down trees. We can dismantle that one entirely. And what else is left? Fishing. Water. Okay, it took me back to the beginning. Okay, so does that get rid of the work area then? If I see water again, I know we've gone back to the start. Yeah, okay, so we need to find a new area to get flint. Uh, we have a good supply of it, but there used to be two flint things over here. There was one here, totally exhausted, and one here. Okay, this one is not exhausted. So let's go ahead and set up a... 
obtain flint. Boom. And we will mine this. And I will put four people to work on this. Up that to 20. And we'll say get off. It's a pretty long distance from home, but we're slowly we're slowly doing a good job with that. Uh, I think we'll also do a tree chopping region uh, somewhere like that, and I'll let one person go to work chopping trees. We'll up the log limit to 20, and then I think we're ready to fast forward again. I don't know how much of the uh, the beasts out here we have harvested. It looks I don't see. I don't see any dead creatures, so I think we've gotten most of them. That's raw meat. Okay. Yeah, I think we've gotten most of them. Okay. All right, let's take tab off. Uh, let's go fast forward mode. Okay, 10 bows, knowledge plus one. That's what I was hoping for. We still don't have enough to advance ourselves uh, technologically, but there's the new totem. That's Yurgazor's death totem being built there. Awesome. All right, and we'll put this down at this end. One more house. I think today we also should be able to get to walls. Fortifications, Neolithic. That is one of our... F so after we do this, we could do fortifications. We could do underground mining, which would probably be good. Or we could do the first domestication of animals. Thatching is great because that gives us the next uh, upgrade housing-wise. So there's a lot I would like to do today. Let's keep it in fast-forward mode. I will take a moment and catch up over here on chat and see what you guys are doing. Yes, it was quite hectic when you arrived in the bay yesterday, Turtle. That's correct. Uh, we, uh, hi, Shaden. We don't use Nitrato. We use G-Portal. Um, they're the only sponsor I really have. There's a link in the description for them if you need an Atlas server, an Arc server, whatever. I think they're the best when it comes to that. Um, the guys at Pooping Evolved really like Logic. Uh, the official people at Arc really like Nitrato. There's lots of options out there, but our favorite is G Portal. I think they deserve more, more love. They have a much better system than everybody else. Um, hello from Spain. Hello from Canada. And thank you, Scene. I, I will be bringing bringing you some building in Atlas as well today. Okay. Four new humans have joined, and a new human was born. Population limit, knowledge plus three. So we need to get to 15 before we can do our next one. So we got to keep going. But I think that is all the more reason for me to build more housing. Uh, and I think what I'll do this time... Let's go ahead and cue the camera around. I think what I will do this time is... That... that and then we'll have another three over here which i might as well get is that too much housing to build at once okay over 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 and in okay and then one more. This is too much. Oh, I see what I did differently. Okay, let's here. Let's do this for now. <laughs> let me plan this village out properly. I want it to look good when it's done. Uh, so don't let me don't let me mess it up. Okay, cave bear attack. Okay, that usually happens at the start of winter. Aha, so we had Thoron who was out to go fishing. She came across a mama bear. Okay, so can we get her back to safety in time to get the tribe out there? Who are the children here? Deselect. I don't know who's a child. It looks like child, child 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 I think that's it I think I have all adult and we'll hunt this cave bear and Thoron if you can run for your life go back here okay ready 
Thoron is gonna get ganked, right? There's no chance Thoron survives unless the bear flees. Run away, Thoron. Oh wait, who's this? Run away. Oh, they did it. They did it together. No way. Uh, should we go get the bear cubs? Yeah, let's do it. Let's send this chunk of the population. Let's send this chunk of the population after this one. Let's do it. I don't want bears on our doorstep. These ones will grow up to be even worse. Two more young females. Next year, they'll be this. Let's not bother. Trader has arrived. Some of your people have no warm clothing. Right, because we have so many people. Do you come selling warm clothing again? You do not, but you sell dry skins. I think I will take all of them. Uh, you also sell slings, bows, harpoons. Those are the kind of things I'm more likely to sell you. So let's sell a bow. Let's sell a sling. Let's sell a flint sickle. Let's sell finished tools, right? Um, bone harpoon, and then we will give you two logs. Complete the deal. Carlac, great deal. Now we got plus one knowledge from 100 dried skins. Okay, so we have the dried skins in order to make warm clothing. Uh, I'll make sure that happens next. Put slings in auto production, put sickles, put this, put spears. Uh, actually, don't bother with spears. Save the flint for things that we really need it for. Like that. Hopefully this is a good setup. All right, we now have how many bows? We have 13 bows, that's a pretty good number. Okay, here we go. I know you guys don't wanna see this, but these baby bears can't be, <laughs> they can't be, we can't, we can't allow them. We can't allow them to live on our borders. Harvest. And most of these people have flint knives on them now, which is great. Crazy autumn storms blowing in. Okay, I think we're ready to fast forward a little bit then. And I guess my workload is probably too high. It's not right now. It's not right now. But the walls will help us from these attacks. Not the cave bear. The cave bear attack was sort of like we wandered into a mama and a couple of cubs in the in late summer when she's trying to protect them and pr gather resources to hibernate for the winter. Which, if that's not in the game, I imagine it eventually will be. Winter hibernation. Um... Yeah, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Okay, so I didn't angle these huts when I brought them in for population limit 30, knowledge plus 3. We are almost ready. Uh, let's go. Let's slow down the speed. We are almost ready to... Uh, so So basically, we brought that in. Step that in one. Step that in one. And then we had one more at the cap. Was it this far away, I wonder? Hmm. I guess so. It looks much closer. Let's, let's... Well, you know what? Maybe we can add in another, uh... We can add in, like, another totem or something right there in order to keep it feeling balanced. 
Oops, I just alt tabbed out. Go back, please. There. That should do. That should do for this this small civilization. I like it so far. I like the feel of it. We should have room for another. Oh no. Now I can't alt tab into it properly. I won't full screen away. Okay, we'll figure it out. Well, god dang it. I've got my stupid windows <laughs> bar at the bottom of the screen now. Hopefully that goes away in a minute. Alright, another winter. I wonder if I can get some good screenshots here. I don't know what the best screenshot would be. Let's uh, let's take Noah Hobe's view and we'll see if we can get some good angles. I love the look of it as you just see this old fool wandering through town. What are you doing, Noah Hobe? What's, what's your current task? I mean, look at this veteran of the community. Gathering stone and rocks. Okay, right, of course you are. Good work, sir. Good work. Uh, I wish th there was an easy way to cycle through the people. You could check out all the different views. We need some warm clothing. We got 29, 30 humans. Okay, are we making warm clothes here? I mean here? Yes, we are. Okay. Using up all our dried skins. Yes, we're using them all up. We don't have a lot of summer clothing either. So we'll have naked humans come summer. We've expanded a little too quickly for our own good. That's a cold child. Why is she... Gorag, go rest. Get warm. A little street urchin. Question for the chat. Does anyone have trouble playing... When... Okay, interesting. On low settings at 15 FPS. Yeah, I'm not sure the answer. I mean... Lurker, you've messed with your, your ground clutter, your sky quality, I'm sure. Those are two of the first things you can change to improve FPS. Um, light shafts and light bloom, removing those will often help. So we should now have 24. Uh, plus 18. 42. 45 50 we should have room for a population of 54 after all these houses are built this should be yeah we should be we should be set for a good while the people look like little ants when they move fast yeah <laughs> got them running around what are you doing it also makes you realize when somebody's got sweet fa to do what's drad doing got no jobs no tasks really and where's all the meat should we not have more meat I might need to set up a new hunting area. We should have always have meat drying. Let's uh, let's increase the number of people out here. But I mean, carving out a little chunk of civilization for ourselves, guys. I like it. We have the second pot of housing. First one fits 30, 24. Second one fits thirty. Uh, oh, what does this say? Okay, li old lion attack. That's a child? Is that a child? No, it's an adult. She is gonna get wrecked. Help her! Damn it! Damn it! We need these city walls soon. So what happens here is you get old, uh, old lions, old bears, old wolves. When winter comes, they get hungry, and they start looking at us going, I think I can get a kill here. Um, the dogs help with that, but walls are kind of our next line of defense uh, when the time comes. Uh, if I go... Give me a sec here, guys. I'm going to save this. I can't... Uh, the bottom of my screen is covered up by my Windows bar, and it's preventing me from actually seeing and doing things. So I'm going to do this and hop back in be cool your screen will go totally quiet for a second and then we'll be back in yes perfect all right 
Bill, Bill come to the rescue. Well, I, we'll see if we can get to the bottom, Lurker. It sounds like your computer ought to be good enough. Good enough. It really depends on the i7, I guess. But the 1070 ought to be doing most of the work. Um, it ought to be. And you're playing on 1440, Bill. Medium to high. Resolution scale, Lurker? That's probably your first bet. Play it, play at a lower resolution scale. Um, that can make a huge difference if you go from 1080 to 900 or 720 or whatever the, the various... 960? I can't remember what the various phases are. Okay, so we got another death, Gorin. Um, I've built totem more totems than we have people, so one of these can be Gorin's totem, or this this here can be a totem for Gorin, this skull pole. Um, yeah. I mean, it kind of sucks to lose, sucks to lose people, but um, I mean, at one point, our meat was up in the 70s, so I want to make sure we don't wait too long. Uh, there's no There's no burial. That doesn't seem like a thing that we ever unlock like a burial rites. That would be under like the spirituality tab. Oh, here you go. Megalithism. Menier, Dolmen, Stone Circle, and a rolling megalith. Yeah, there's no graveyards. Pro proper graveyards. Uh, to memorialize the dead. So we have to do it with these totems for now. And let's see where the huntable beasts are. We've got a small herd of what over here? Horse? Wild horse. Not something I want to hunt. I just, they're, they run fast, for one, and I'd rather not kill horses. Okay, so there's not a lot. It's winter time, obviously, so there's less around. But, man, there's really not a lot around. If we wanted to go hunting, there's this old, old bear. Jeez, Louise. Sweet Louise, as I once said. Yeah, the population, wild beast population is looking limited right now. We got more horses out here unless those are donks no those are horses we got more cave lions it is sparse well maybe we wait for spring and see i wonder if this is like oh no hello hello you are close close to home adult female mammoth how close to home is that oh we'd have to go past the old bear i wonder come spring when i don't have to worry about we might be ready for that mammoth hunt how many people would we bring on a mammoth hunt Start thinking about it, guys. We maybe take out the old bear on the way. It's almost springtime, so... Uh, instead of fishing, we'll leave fishing on a limited basis. And I think we take some able-bodied adults out for a hunt. And I think we could probably go get a mammoth. How far away was that? Just on the far side of this water, right? Past the bear and here. I think we could take down our first mammoth. That's a long journey. It's a big commitment. Um, but there's not a lot around. And I bet we get a stupid ton of meat out of it. Why don't I start selecting people for the hunt now? Turab, you have no spear, but you have a sling. You're young. You're young. You're young. Let's get all the young adults. This woman. This man. And maybe one old fella. Or one old old lady. One more old person. Right here. Okay. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Seven. I took eight. I took eight young, healthy adults. And we're going to go on our mammoth hunt. We'll leave the old and we'll leave the children. It's springtime. We shouldn't have to worry about attacks from wild beasts. If so, we got the dogs. Uh, and a good number of dogs at this point. Lots of, lots of fairly strong old folks. I'm going to disband, disband this while we're doing it. Are you joining? Or is this the crew? That's seven. This is the crew. Not you. We'll avenge your death. All right. Let's go. Let's look at the front of the line. Gorazor. And we'll zoom in. 
and let's fast forward, and we'll see how long it takes these guys to get out here. What trader has arrived? I'm a little busy. Let's let this trader do their thing. I'm not that worried. I want to see how far a journey this actually is. Can we see the watering hole yet? Nope. But look at these guys, just single filing, going, we know where we're headed. We know what's waiting for us out here. There's the watering hole, there's the old bear. Here it is. Oh, I, that went so fast. I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, we got two points for hunting our first mammoth. Can I still get to the trader? Probably not. Achievement, massive hunter. I think we have hunted every species in the game now, guys. Okay, awesome work. Awesome work. Let's head back to settlement. Trader, are you still here? You are still here. What do you bring for trade? I will take this straw. I will take these summer clothes. I will take this leather. I will take this dry skin. That's 76 that you want for that. What can I afford to trade you? One, two bows. What's a sling worth? Only five. Three bows. Two flint sickles. One flint knife. One flint pick. One flint axe. Oh no, wait. Okay. I've gotten out of control. Uh, okay. And then, I wonder if I take back flint knife and we fill it fill the rest in with wood good trade good trade okay beautiful and and uh let's let's head out and we'll check out the mammoth kill uh, i wasn't ready for them to come upon it so quick i guess it was coming down the watering hole to to feed look at what we get out of it good lord what an insane amount of resources i hope somebody's bringing a sledge i don't know how the sledge works coming across water but Great job. Horak. Good work, sir. Here comes the rest of the tribe. Are you traveling with empty hands? Why are you guys not bringing stuff back? I guess you're tired. Anyway, we'll, you'll, we'll probably see a whole line of, of our humans heading out this way soon to go, get re, to go get mammoth bits and bring them back home. But we've done it. That was worth it, I think. We're one point away from unlocking the Neolithic era now, which is, it's been slow getting there. So let's zoom out and we'll, we'll let this all happen. We'll fish less than we normally would for this season. Yeah, there you go. Here goes a human. Right? Varnak. One of our oldest men. Varnak's been around a long time. Yep, look at this. Look at this. This giant... Oh, okay. Oh, no. I clicked out of the game. Okay. No, don't, don't chop trees. Kill this. Are these children? These are children out here, aren't they? They're all children. They're all children. Kill this. You're gonna have to kill this. Viri, another one of our oldest. We got anybody else here? Yes. Before it ravages the chil children. Maybe Viri should wait. That's another child. God, what a... That's another child. <laughs> it's just Viri. You're gonna have to kill this. Can she do it? It runs. It runs. It's running for the children. Where's it going? It's, it's ravaging children. Come on, Viri! I tasked you with this job. Oh my god. I knew we should have killed this when we had the fleet. The strong, all the strong men out here. Come on, Viri, you can do it. Yes! Viri, you are the hero of the civilization. Did any children die? No. 
No. Badly hurt. Yeah, this one. Ichme. Why are we sending so many children out into this wildlands? That's so crazy. Oh, Varnak. Ye will be missed, Varnak. Our, one of our greatest heroes. For a time. Another child. All the children just... Oh, yeah, go... You know that where that... We killed that mammoth right by the old bear? Why don't you guys go out and collect the meat? What are all the adults doing? Why don't you guys... What are you doing? RN? Just letting your daughter go out there? God, what a stressful situation. Oh, Gorazor. I'm too busy fishing. I'm too busy collecting water. How about you protect your children? Instead of sending a whole fleet of them, not even in a group... Just sending them one at a time, loners. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two females. Three babies. And all this meat. I'm gonna get a hunting party out here. Before it's too late. Where's our civilization at? Alright. Right here. Alright. Where are my able-bodied adults here? Uh-huh. Uh, these are all old folks, but, uh... Head out here. This is so many bears. Oh yeah, you smell this meat probably, don't you? Is that what you smell? Or is it human children that you're feasting about, looking to feast on? Okay, the bears are being led away. They're feasting on boar. What a tense situation. I've just brought all my elderly people out here to deal with it. If we could kill the mamas, we'd be in a good position. Are they gonna go hunt again? Cave lion attack. What the hell? What kind of a dangerous situation is this? Oh, we killed it so fast. Okay. 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 Anybody die in the cave lion attack? No, the dogs just feasted on it. Awesome. Yeah, all the able-bodied adults are in camp. All of our civilization's children. Are out here. Look at this. We're gonna have to kill these bears. Look at this poor little child. The mammoth kill was a risky one for the civilization. I thought we were I thought we had what it takes. Why is one person getting here so far ahead of the rest of the, the pack? Two of them are already heading backwards. Move along, bears. Move along. This is not good territory for ye. I got a whole bunch of spears and bows and arrows to let you know that. We only got two. Okay, there's a couple of adults out here. I think we can probably take this bear down. Now 
that's another child, right? just need to protect. We need to get these bears out of here. They're kind of leaving on their own. Come together, men of the community. Kill this. Kill this. Wait here, maybe. I want to meet up. Get all three of you together. We'll need some concerted effort in order to take this thing down. We've got bows. We've got spears. The babies will run. We know that. The other mama's far enough away that she shouldn't attack. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay. Is the other mama coming? No. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I think I think we should probably stop hunting things so far from home. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's have a look at camp. Let's see how the situation's doing back here. Well, I have not been paying attention. Uh, housing built for 54. Okay, wait. Cave lion attack. Oh my f. Okay, and a cave bear attack. I think that's the one we just experienced, unless that's it. Okay, we lost somebody. We lost somebody. That's the other cave bear. Go for him. Let's take him out. Should we do it with only two people? Is that f uh, foolish? Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. That's a baby still, right? Kill this. Kill the baby bear. I'm overextending this. Uh-huh. Get him before he goes over that ridge. Yes, okay. Okay, let's just fast forward. Uh, it's early summer. We skipped the fishing season. Uh, I don't know if people are harvesting berries. They're harvesting a few, um, but how's our workload? Pretty good, that's pretty good. Nice surplus of jobs to do. Let's build one more of the, the transportation things like so i think that's our 10th one we might get a bonus from that uh, let's set up a new hunting zone a new hunting zone out here i guess i don't know there's a lot of lions right on our border Okay, let's put it back in the old spot. Let's put it back right here. And I'll put two people on it. Okay. All right. All right, let's fast forward. Let's let the civilization recover from those great expenditures I've given it. Given it. Uh, let's see if we can have a nice long summer. A nice long healthy summer and we'll let the population, okay. Wow. Today is a day of attacks. Are these the wolves? Two wolves. Oh my F. Okay.
dogs come to the rescue. Another, okay, Kedza has been killed by a wolf. Is that another wolf? Yeah, it is. That's a wolf right there. Kill all the cubs. What did I do to this? What does that lasso symbol mean? God. What a t day of death this has been. What a brutal day. <laughs> does that mean I can tame it? I wonder. Okay, so maybe we don't kill this. And maybe we... What did I press? Okay, I think it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> no, here we go. I swear I did something to lasso it. Which, anyway, let's kill anything that resembles a, oh, that's a cave lion. Let's definitely kill that. That's going to attack us. That's going to attack us. Kill this. Kill this lion. There we go. Good lord, the amount of death. Oh, that's. I thought I was clicking on a person. Yeah, Kedza. Child, female. Dead. Population down to 26 and counting. What is this? A cave lion? Definitely get this. Is that it? Are there more deadly beasts in our vicinity? This is dead, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, intense day. Intense day. Let's fast, let's fast forward. And we're losing some of the meat and stuff that was out here. It looks like. Still one mama bear right there. Oh my god. Two mama bear? Oh no, those are boars. How many adults do we have here? One? I just don't want those bears to get... Attack us. Okay. And I don't, I don't trust Arun to go kill a mama bear herself. So hopefully these, these adult boars will provide a nice distraction for the bears. I hope. Arun's out here gathering for us. What a boss. And then here, right here, wolf pack. Full of young wolf cubs. Okay, well I have to learn that, guys. You'll have to let me know dog domestication. Can we actively go out and get a dog? Well, let's, you know what? That's in this game. Uh, so if I untab and I go here, domesticate animals. Okay, domesticated animals provide a variety of benefits to your settlement, protection, food, resources, and muscle power. Except for dogs, all other animals need to be sheltered in winter and provided with water and straw. If there is no straw available, uh, you can feed them with grain. You can obtain domestic animals by purchasing them from traders or by domesticating young individuals of the wild equivalent. Animals will produce as long as there is an adult male around. Typically, you want to keep a few males and a large number of females to maximate, maximate, maximize the reproduction rate. When animals are very old, they will be slaughtered for meat automatically, including dogs. How dare you? Dog domestication. Unlocks the domestication of dogs. Dogs will slowly come to your settlement. Perfect. But how does domestication actually work? Well, maybe if we, we f look further into that, domesticated, what is the first one? Goats. Domestication text allows you to tame wild animals. You need to select it and then click on the capture button. Okay. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Two, three new humans have joined the settlement. Excellent. That is good news for us. We're rebuilding the population that was lost to mammoths, bears, wolves, and lions during today's video. <laughs> uh, let me catch up on chat while we, while we go here. Um... How many kids are you going to use for bait, lol? Yep, 
uh, private servers get a good 60 plus most of the time. Yeah, it's been very smooth on our private server. I've just been playing for a couple of days so far. Um, the game seems interesting. This game, yes, it does. I'm in. I'm into it. It's a. I mean, it's a colony builder, right? So you have to do all the basic things. You have to give them the infrastructure they need. They will need meat to survive. They will need skins and leather for clothing. So we need to hunt for the resources or automate that. And then, okay. And then, okay. And we can now unlock. Let's let's pay attention because there is also research. Let's unlock this. All right. Next, we will have to choose which of these to do. Either goats would be good, uh, well digging would be good, stilting would be good because I could make a bridge. Uh, we currently don't have a flint area, so I think, okay, Neolithic unlocked. Perfect. And cereal domestication unlocked. Allows you to plant and harvest cereals, unlocking the Neolithic area. It and it dramatically increases the amount of people you can reliably feed every year. This is one of the most important text in the history of mankind. Of course it is. This is a basic one. And then farming. Farming allows you to automate the production of food and to sustain more people in your settlement. You can plant a variety of crops and then harvest and process them to feed your people. Crops are usually planted in winter or spring and collected in summer or autumn. It is important to plant a variety of crops. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, we need warm clothing. Uh, we can turn the raw skins into dry skin using these racks and then that gets converted in the crafter into skins outfit which is warm or you can take that raw skin and you can add it to the tannery with tannins which we collect here in the forest uh, <clears throat> from oak trees and you can make leather that leather can then be used to make this the leather outfit which people like to wear in the summer so it's summer right now and tarub is only wearing the warm clothing because we don't have enough for everybody but most people are going to be wearing the leather outfits if you look around well i can't click on that fella but yeah leather outfits for all uh and then these are the tools they carry we have to have had to keep finding new sources of flint and i think i need to find one more um, but before we do that i want to i want to check out the farming production where would it be i wonder Weaver Flint Mine. That is something we ought to get going ASAP. Storage. It wouldn't be storage. Although we now have a haystack. Oh, that is cool. Oh, sick. Oh, that's going to look awesome. I wonder. We're going to have to place these around town in, in some, like, key areas. Maybe then farming is... A, yes. Collect tenant is farming a work area like this. Collect mud. Mine ore fish hunt no 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 so how does it work plant oh we have a whole new tab plant emmer einkorn and barley okay so let's click and hold to place field oh oh that's cool okay let's do that oh sick that's fantastic okay so that's emmer Let's plant some einkorn as well, which I assume is, is corn. And I know this is right in the middle of town, but uh, we'll figure it out. And barley. Oh, it won't go so far. Okay. So let's try a barley field then. So there's sort of a maximum length to it, it seems like. So if I go here, and then same thing again, I'd have to do a second field. Nope, okay. So let's just do this in order to make one long field. Like so. All right. I don't know about my placement of these guys. I don't know if this is ideal, but I can always just remove or, yeah. Okay, trader has arrived. All right, what does the trader come selling? Do you bring new things for us? You bring thatching, which is a... Okay, so that's a technological unlock, guys. So we wouldn't have to get seven points to do it. She doesn't have much else of value. I'll take all the flint you've got. I'll take the straw. We might as well stockpile it while it's cheap. Can I realistically pay for this thatching? That is the question. I could definitely sell 
the bows are really valuable. So if I just kept going, 316. Okay, she's got a high commission, so let's not do that. Let's not do any of that. Uh, let's give her one bow. Uh-huh. And one log. And let's do the trade there. Okay, so if we found somebody with... Okay, and we get plus one knowledge for that. We now have ten straw. I've managed to achieve that. Um, now I have to look at these fields and see how they work. So they will be planted in the fall, harvested in the winter, I think, was the sound of... From the sound of things. We ought to be producing lots of uh, bows over here. Uh, because those are great for trading. And we're making lots of flint tools. Let's look around and see if we can find a new area to harvest flint. We've gone so far in our search for flint. Uh, done. Done. Here's the next one. Out here. That is so far from home. Oh, here's one. Okay. Oh, here's a couple. Okay. So there are a couple out this way. So, yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll place a flint gathering area uh, right here and a flint gathering area right here. We'll put two people on each. And it's a long journey. Is there anything? There's no deadly creatures in between. Oh, here's a young wolf cub. Let's see. Capture. Let's see if somebody goes to do this job. I wonder if I have to put a person to work on it. Let me find a, a grown human. You. Capture this. Nope. I want to know if somebody will just go do that. Or if I have to give them the job. And if I have to give them the job, maybe they have to have a specific set of equipment in order to do it? A young female wolf pup. We could add her to our, our dog population. So we currently have, let's, let's look at the dog population. Adult male, old male, old male. Do we have any girl dogs? Old male. We might not have any girl dogs. Yeah, I don't know that we do. Okay, let's let's head out. You can see people still making long, long trips way out here. Is this to deal with my stupid mammoth hunt still? Yeah, we've left a couple of carts out here. left a sling, bone harpoon. These are all uh, supplies from Varnak when he was out living out this, or when he died out on this journey. Look at, look at these humans. What? You guys are so industrious. Just hauling your butts up the river all the way. Hauling sledges. I mean, these sledges out here, I, I wonder if I should... I can't dismantle them, so there's nothing to be done there. Um... Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All right, let's head back to camp. Let's go fast forward mode. Let's make sure that we've got the game speed moving quickly uh, because we've only unlocked one thing so far and we are a little over an hour into today's stream. We usually go for about two hours. And corn is a variety of wheat. Okay, so the word corn in there threw me off. <laughs> oh, we have barley planted now, it looks like maybe. Or not. Maybe not. That should happen in autumn, which we are in now. Resource has decayed berries. Oh, meaning we didn't eat it in time. Oh, that's fine. What that probably means then is I need to have fewer people on that task. Let's just uh, disband. Uh, let's lower this to one for next year. How about the pear trees? Those are still being active. Yep, one person on those. And then most of our berry gathering and stuff is still happening out here. These bushes are still plentiful, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, and let's fast forward. It's autumn, population 30. Most of the children made it back. Whoa, whoa, he just did some karate moves. 
Oh, that was exciting. I wish I had. I wish I could have seen that up close. He just did like a a samurai sword pose with a katana over his head. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe it was like some early tai chi or something. I like putting the campfire. That was smart. Putting the campfire in the middle of the the civilized area. Okay. Pause. Cave bear attack. This is happening probably way out in the edge of the world wilds. All right, so we've got lions there. That's not the problem. Humans were coming up this way, and we're going to make their way in here. Yes, here's the situation. Cave bear attack. I'm afraid we should have killed that mama last time. We just didn't have the manpower. I'm afraid this guy is a goner. Are there other humans nearby? No. Gorazor, all I can hope is that you you survive this. If you pull this off, Gorazor, I'll be so impressed. Gorazor has been killed by a cave bear. That's why there's so many carts out here, for frick's sake. <laughs> All right, man, no more mammoths, guys. I really wanted to get that mammoth done, but that we went way too far from home. Getting the meat and the hide back has cost us a lot of humans. Um, if I had just been a more conservative leader, we would have a bigger population. We would have a population of about 36. There have been a lot of deaths. A lot, a lot of deaths so far. Let's put a campfire in the middle here. Uh, and let's add maybe a new uh, religious totem. One for one for every death is what I've been doing. Although we've got a lot, it's starting to look silly how many we have now. I guess they could be a little further away, right? You could place them out where somebody died, right? They could just be like a little little memory of the person. Like that. Yeah, we got too many in this immediate vicinity, if you ask me. I don't want to go too crazy with them. Uh, more sledges, because we keep leaving them out at the out at the site of bear attacks. All right, and it's autumn, so we'll see. Do I have to assign farmers? I wonder. It didn't seem like it, and there wasn't a work area for planting. Tannin, water, trees, stone. Collect and harvest wild plants, that won't be it. Uh, did anything ever happen with that baby old wolf, that little baby wolf? Did somebody wrangle it and bring it into the, the community? Potentially? We got a female dog. I missed her earlier, or she's... No, she's old, so she wouldn't be the one. Adult male. Old male. Yeah, we don't have a lot of female dogs. Um, in the spring, why don't we try... Why don't we try finding a wolf pack, killing the adults, and wrangling the, uh, the children? Um, because in the spring, there will be a nearby wolf pack. It will have a bunch of babies. That will probably be one of those adventures that it will put our population at risk again. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? A trader arriving soon? Let's hope. A hundred flint. Knowledge plus one. Okay, one more and we can unlock... I think flint mines should be the first one. Just to make sure we have a steady supply of that. And then after that we'll do... We can try goat domestication. That's probably the next best. Um, but we're, we're into farming. So we're going to get to see how that works. Uh, why don't I, why don't I, I look and we go farming. This is a great help system. <clears throat> okay. In order to maximize efficiency, make sure you have enough sickles around. That's not bad. Grain. Grain is used to make flour, which can be turned to bread. 
also a key ingredient in beer, which boosts morale. Grain is the most durable type of food available, and it's best to best resource to feed large amounts of people. It can also serve as fodder if required, but it's better to use straw. Okay, that's all it tells me. So we'll see. If nobody ever plants anything, I'll have to figure out what to do. But why don't, here, why don't we do this, and we'll prioritize... set to high priority for this field, and we'll see what people figure out. I probably can't select the whole... no. Uh-huh. Oh, did you hear that? That was the sound of a child laughing. I love that. This game has me thinking about things uh, from a perspective of, like, how little changes. Like, I was watching a YouTube video recently that was, like, a baby discovering a anything with babies. I think back to, like, oh, these are the same babies that these people would have had. Like, the one I was watching was a baby discovering the sound of echoes for the first time. So somebody took a baby into a big old building, and it was just going, whoo, ha, and the, its voice was echoing, right? And it was having such a good time. I was like, oh, these cavemen would have just had to walk into a cave with their baby at the same age, and it would have done the exact same thing. It's like, we don't really change all that much. We're, we're pretty consistent. Even over 10,000 additional years, these people are the same people as us, right? I love it. I love it. Anyway, a few little things. This game puts you... It, you guys know, playing mo any game will put you in a particular frame of mind. will change the way you're thinking about life. You'll start having the game impact the way you're thinking about the world. Um, how many dogs do we have? There is a way to check that. Uh, it is our statistics or something. Manage. Stats. We have six dogs. Okay, cool. Milestones. Okay, I can check these here. Neo Farmer. Unlock all Neolithic founder crops. That would be the pulse as well, I imagine. Get 10 domesticated animals. We're well on our way. Build a stone circle. I don't know how far along that is. I think Megal Megaliths is down here and the stone circle comes from it. So we could get another one of those today. We should probably get at least one achievement before the end of our day today. I would hope. We got a decent supply of water, fish. We don't have a lot of meat. Um, we don't have a lot of meat, but we should maybe hunt based on opportunity. When something comes close enough, and things are learning not to come close to our civilization, it seems like uh, it's only when we venture way outside of it that we run into huge populations. Right here. Here, here are the wolves we could go kill. So we've got an old male, an adult male, and a female? No, all males. So that is, that is a doable hunt. Okay, let me put together a hunting party. Uh, let's find people with... Grown adults is what I need to select here. All right, this is a, a strong enough party to take out the wolves, I believe. And then we could, we could, if we don't kill the babies, okay. Okay, they're moving. This is our target right here. Okay, now this is the target. But we could get three new dogs out of the deal, which would be great for us. It would help us get to that 10, and we probably have more dogs than we need for a population of 29. 
But who doesn't like dogs, right? And we know where they come from. Why are you running? Just running in like a madman. Wow, she's so dumb. I should have brought somebody with a... Okay. Now, here's the other adult. We still got five people, as long as they don't go in crazy. They're so spread out. Okay, here's the problem. Let's bring you guys together here. Okay, that's the old, that's the old one. Might be able to kill that solo. If he just runs in like a madman, though. Why not throw your spear at it? Okay. Did it, did it, did it. And then there is this one. But there is an old cave lion nearby. So. We'll have to be smart about this. Oh, the cave lion's gone. Where did it just go? It must have chased that horse pack. This is the last one that could protect the babies from being... This is a good thing, guys. We're going to make these dogs into our babies. <laughs> you didn't miss much, Einkorn. I've been dealing with a lot of crazy attacks and whatnot during this one. Whilst... What is this? Insanity. I lose two humans to get three dogs. Why do they hunt so poorly? Why do they not group up? Frustrating. Okay. Alright, so let's make sure we harvest. I guess I gotta group them up better. Alright, and then we gotta find the wolf pups out here in the wilderness. There is one. Capture. Uh, wow, they ran far. They ran far. Capture. this. I'm going to lose like six humans to get these three dogs. I should have known better. And I don't even know where the other one is. Is this one of them? Nope. We'll lose two humans, potentially gain two dogs. What a bad maneuver. I have... I have prevented this population from growing with my techniques and my tactics today, guys. This has not been a good stream uh, so far in terms of like... Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so capture these young wolves. Harvest the old ones. We need meat anyway. We're down to 17 meat. So this is not a bad thing. But um, those people left camp still wearing summer clothing, which is less than ideal. They're all going to be putting on their winter clothing now, like the person you see walk out of this hut. Or this hut is probably going to come out with different clothing on. Yep. There you go. They're now wearing the long sleeves. They're wearing the skins instead of the leather. Uh, and all the hunters I sent out, I sent out without that. And we lost Fort Gal, old male. And... Ayadad, adult female. Not good. Not good techniques by me so far, really. I haven't seen a single crop get planted yet. So hopefully they get planted in spring, harvested in summer. If not, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong. It doesn't really explain much. Because um, I've looked at this a few times, right? Farming. Allows you to automate the production of food. You can plant a variety of crops, which I think I've done by laying out the fields. Uh, crops are usually planted. It is important to plant a variety. I've planted all three that are available to me. So how do I make people go do it? Can only be done in spring. Okay. Is that true for all of these crops? Can only be done in spring. Can only be done in spring. Maybe that's because that's the next available planting season. Because uh, it did say w you could plant an autumn harvest in winter as well. So population of 27. That currently involves 
10 children, so 17 adults, 10 children. I have really compromised our our carrying capacity by limiting the amount of adults available to do work. I gotta see, okay, I gotta see how the dogs get wrangled. But uh, all the dogs have been marked for capture. So that's a young male. That's a young female. And we've got a another young male. So we could bring those all into the population. Risky maneuver, but I like it. Hi Shane, uh, I didn't apply. I got a key from one of the YouTubers you may have watched playing it. I'm not allowed to say who, but I commented on that person's video and said, hey, this game looks great. And they replied and said, hey, I have an extra key. Would you like it? And so I was just given one, uh, un sort of unofficially outside of the official channels. Um, and I didn't think I'd get around to playing it. I didn't realize it wasn't out till March. So I thought uh, with the chaos of December and all the Atlas videos I was making that if I didn't I, that if I didn't get to it in December then there'd be no point in getting to it and I got back after the holidays and went holy crap I got two months still before this game is out um, and I've watched uh, a number of people play it my favorite is Corrales I've been watching him for years um, and uh, uh, yeah just uh, exciting to watch and I went like oh this would be a fun one to play on the channel and um, one of these videos eventually is going to hit a thousand views. If you guys are watching today, fewer than we've had watching the, the previous days. It is Monday morning, so people are b busy with life. But uh, go ahead and click the like button. We're getting around 50 or 60 likes a video. And each of the three streams I've done is sneaking up there. It's over 700, close to a thousand views. And a thousand views is a good threshold for me. If that's happening, I know it's a, I know it's a good sign. It means people are liking the game. So... That's iron ore. Okay. Okay, is she, what is she out to do? Is she out to wrangle a dog? Viri, old female. Yes, she is. Okay. Let's look. Calm down. Calm down, dog. Come here. Eat some meat. I've got some meat for you. I know I slaughtered your parents and your parents slaughtered my friends. But you can join our community, you cute little bastard. Here, eat some meat. Eat some of this wolf meat that I recently got. <laughs> join us, beast. Come to our community. Okay, this is a long process. Let's... Okay, Horonok has contracted an infection. Now we have a dog. All right, and are you off to do another one here, Viri? No, you're off to drink water. My lord. I don't know what they're saying. Uh, okay, so Horonok has contracted an infection. We have not seen this before. What do I do with this old fool? That's the new dog? No. Horonok infected. Let's check it out. Okay. Food crafting human status. Human status. Stamina, infection, hydration, morale. None of these say infection, but health. Health. Health is a measure of the physical health of a person. If it gets too low, they will die. Conditions. Uh, humans can be affected by diseases and infections they are triggered from going hungry sustaining injuries when a person has a condition its health will decrease for an amount of time if it reaches zero it will die survival chances are partly random based on how healthy the individual is so horanok probably gonna die <laughs> but pray pray to the totem pray to the totem for us okay and what have you got for us megalithism for 200 you also bring linen Ooh, linen i wonder what that's for i'll take this you also bring linen cloth oh wow what a good trader but high commission so really i don't want to buy too much from you uh i'll buy the grain nope i'll leave the leather maybe i'll buy the leather 
Okay. And we will sell you a bow. And... Uh-huh. I'll take this back, and we'll add in a couple of pieces of wood. Ah. All right. We'll do it. I'll take the summer clothing. We don't have a good supply of summer clothing. Uh, and I took the leather that we can turn into summer clothing, because that is pre-processed. I haven't been bringing back a lot of raw skins, which is part of the problem. <clears throat> and the grain, the grain people can use in this mortar which is right here, to turn into flour. And the flour that I bought, they can use on a campfire to make bread, which they are doing. We don't have any bread in storage. We will soon, hopefully. Um, I'll have to make a point in spring to actively put people to work uh, making the crops. But hopefully Horonok can survive. Population 27. It will grow. I have no more risky maneuvers in the immediate future planned. Or so I say. Is this one of the wolves I was trying to wrangle? No, that's a cave lion, which can only be hunted. No thanks. And what about no herds have passed through? We've got like an old bear, young bear. We've got bears and lions. That we're, There are no herbivores around anymore. I might have to resort to horse hunting. And even then, what happened to your herd? What happened? I guess I keep I keep looking in winter when it's like the worst time to find creatures and things like that. But it seems like you play long enough, you start... Maybe we've overhunted. Maybe the population got too big to hunt this whole area, right? Here's a herd. But this is a horse herd. Donkey herd. We could go after that. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on the old donkey herd. One, two, three, four humans joined the settlement. Awesome. So it's a good settlement. I just keep getting our people killed. So that's great news. Here come the newbies. Hello, guys. So we got Margor, the old. Uh, and then three young ones. Three young women. Akinad, Thurston, and... Look at this. Look at this wily old man. I wonder if those are his daughters. Or if those are his, his wives. Noah Hobe has died of hypothermia. What? What, Noah Hobe? What were you doing out here? What were you doing out here? Oh, gosh. It's been a struggle today, guys. It is not, I've not done good work. I have not done good work for the community that is known as Korag. Happiness, okay. Prestige, decent. I think, considering that's much higher than it used to be. We get prestige from these, uh, but from other things as well. Okay, good. Knowledge. Let's unlock flint mining, and let's see if that is a structure. Unlocked flint mining. Allows you to build mines on top of deposits. Mines dramatically increase the amount you can get from a deposit. Oh, so does that mean that this one is still... Okay, is that one still useless? Uh, if I go build... And it would be production flint mine. I don't know if that's worth doing. No. Let's go let's go out to our current flint mines. Uh, and let's go here. Disband. Here. Disband. And what we will do instead is add flint mines. Production flint mine. Boom and production I didn't even check to see how much was left in these but they go fast and I can't now okay so let's and prioritize set to high priority set to high priority and those require logs which we have a plentitude of oh god I just about yanked my headphones out of the wall <laughs> All right, good work. We're using all the sledges, so I'll, I'll build one more, or two more. Or are they still being constructed? I can't tell. But either way, we'll keep them coming. Until we have wheeled sledges, these make a big difference. We can have as many as we have people for, if you ask me. I'm happy to have lots and lots of these carts floating around. Like this guy, chopping trees, he might as well have a cart. 
This guy, taking logs out to the flint mine. Might as well take a cart with him. Right? He can carry three instead of one. It's a fantastic upgrade. All right, so winter is here. We got 31 winter clothing. Are we making summer clothing? We don't have any leather. Okay, so we got to do it. We got to do a hunt soon. That donkey herd might be the one. Where was it? I thought it was right here. Nope. I don't know where it went. Ah! Yes. Okay. I think it's time for a, a communal hunt. We're a long ways from domesticating these, I think. Well, I suppose I could use my next upgrade on it, but... I'm going to send my humans out in force. And we'll take down this whole herd. This is what we did. This is what we did as a species. That's a young Noah. We got a new young Noah Hobe. Remove the children from these lists. Ikme is a child as well, I think. So are these two. Alright, so we got a good number of adults coming. A stupid number of adults coming, if you ask me. Some of you go to this side. Oh, too late for that. Why can't you hunt these? What is going on here? They're a hard thing to hunt. Those are all children. Okay. <laughs> I just gave all our children hypothermia risk in order to track this donkey herd. Nobody's really going after them, are they? These, these two. I should have let them wander straight into camp, shouldn't I? One of them's freezing to death here. Lots of health, though. Come on, folks. Get up here. Take out one of the babies, maybe. Our meat supplies are super low. <laughs> we really gotta plant things this spring. Branch him off, break him off from the pack. Uh huh. Now we kill this one. Or another baby. Another baby, maybe. How's your overall health? Good. Good. herd gets back together so well, don't they? Hi, Burns. Welcome. Hi, Jay. You getting here with good timing. Still time left. I'm pursuing a little donkey hunt right now. I'm taking out all the baby donkeys. <laughs> like a monster. There we go. We did it. Alright. 
Head home, you guys. You're freezing cold. Someone coming out with a sledge. Spring is almost here. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. All right, spring is here, and I will have to make sure we plant crops this time. Anybody gonna die of hypothermia? And how many dogs did we end up with? Nine. Awesome. So that worked beautifully. If we see another wolf pack, we'll kill the adults. We'll tame the children. I love it. That's fantastic. That's such a great technique. That that's how it works. You don't just like... I don't know, when it comes to the goats, we won't just, like, put a goat pen down and have goats. We're going to have to go find a herd, kill the adults, uh, tame a few of the babies. It'll be very cool. Survive the winter plus one, first structure, flint. Awesome. Okay, and look, being planted. Being planted without my direction. Being planted without my direction. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So it is automated. I don't have to manually say plant a thing here, plant a thing here. All right, and we want to make sure that we free up our population to do that. How are, how are our fish supplies? So we can put two people on this. We can put two people on this. And I can uh, disma dismantle this one for now. Uh, what, what, other, what other things can I lower to make to free up workers. Marin has contracted a disease. That's our second disease. Is that Marin? Workload is too high. Affected by disease. She's got a ca bad case of the broken heart. No, it's probably heart disease. I don't know. <laughs> uh, lots of people unhappy after that last winter. I don't blame them. I kind of have been doing a terrible job today. Get two humans killed in order to bring three wolf pups into the community. What kind of insanity is that? Um, go for a mammoth hunt. Watch a bunch of children get savaged by a bear as they go to get the resources from the mammoth. It was just insanity. It was bad, bad work by me. All right. Okay. So we are making what? No tasks. Making no clothing. Because what? We have no leather? That's right. So we might as well add bows to this one then. Bows and flint tools being made here. Let's go check out the flint mines. Uh, right here. Okay. And space for one human. Okay, so it's got room for three humans. Uh, I wonder if I have to assign people still, or if we have to still have the flint area. No, that doesn't work anymore. So I wonder how we assign. Maybe there is a new zone for mining? Uh, let me check. Place work area. Obtain flint. Okay, maybe I do do this. Ooh, and they can get flint from... Oh, that's flint. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put that up to three, and we will see. And then I'll do another one here. Let's go. Flint. There's a cart outside it, so I assume there's a person inside? No. No, that cart is from building. Okay. Workload is too high, and then we will say flint gathering. Oh, the only reason that that other one worked is because of the, the other deposit of flint. So let's lower that to one, then. And we'll just let these be mined and see what happens. All right, crops being planted. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these amazing humans working. look he goes into his pocket for seeds pokes a little hole pokes the seeds in the ground oh baby how cool how cool and it's it's uh spring so what can be gathered over here what is this symbol mean? wait oh that's workloads too high i thought there was another attack i think i've built too much farmland for us to start i think this is uh this is too great an amount of farmland Uh-huh. 
let's simplify things. Okay, this one's being planted. Excellent work, humans. Excellent work, humanity. You are really pulling through this time. All right, and what do we got? Any herds? Any immediately close herds? It looks like no. There are these, which I think when we unlock goat domestication, I think this will be the goat. So we won't touch this herd. We'll, we'll think about killing that female and then eventually getting this young female into our... Is it just the two of them? Weird. Okay, there's another one over here. And then what do we have over here? Is this horse? That's more. Those are donkeys. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, we need a few points before we can get to the goat domestication. We'll fast forward a little bit. We're at 1 hour 45 minutes. I've been doing a little over 2 hours every day, guys. That feels like a good amount of time. Honestly, the dogs are the least whiny uh, citizens, so the trade doesn't feel bad to me. Right, right, yeah. I lost two old people, I think, as well. Um, let's let's look. I would love to find a tenth dog. I know that we get a skill point if we do that. Is there a nearby wolf pack? Bears. You can never domesticate those, even if you kill the mama. You're not taming the chillins. There's a cow over there. There's more bears out this way, and lots of wolf wolf cubs those are so far that's mammoth that's where we killed the mammoth i'm not going out there um that's a bear that's an old solo well that's a cave lion right we're looking for what what is that oh that's a bird flying in the air all right what is this young male lion i don't see any wolf cubs so that's the donkey herd. Where is home again? I'm a little bit dis discombobulated. That's a different donkey herd, it must be. Yeah, okay. That's a megalith. Wonder what that means. Okay, raw fish plus one knowledge. Okay, keep it going. Keep keep doing the work, guys. Keep doing that work. Uh-huh. Good work. Good work. Room for 54 population. So I've built m much more housing than we need. Megalith just means big stone, by the way. <laughs> um, we got to get to seven before we unlock the next thing. I think we were wise to do it in the order we did. The flint mining is going to be great for us. It'll be more tools, um, steady production. After this, we could do goats. I think that's probably the next thing we should do. I want to tame that one more dog. One will just come to us, but I think I think if we have, uh, if we have nine for 30 people, we probably won't get any dogs just arriving in the community. We'll probably have to go get one. I wonder what would happen if I just marked one of these wolf pups. Old female. I'd probably have to kill the at the... That's cave lion. Cave lion. That's a young male wolf. What if I just mark it for capture? What happens? Let's just see. Is this one here? Yeah, let's mark that for capture instead. Because it's a little separated. Okay, so let's just keep an eye, and we'll see. Someone will go out there and try and lure that wolf in, but I think while its parents are, are around, we won't have any luck. So this is probably a, one of those ways that I waste a human, where I put, put a human life to waste for no reason. Is that you? Viri, yeah. You bring, in, you bring a spear? You didn't even bring a spear. Oh my god, you're going to get destroyed, Viri. You're going to get destroyed. Okay, so there it is, and there are the parents. We'll see if we can pull this off. Like, how badass is she if she just goes out here and convinces a wolf cub to leave its mom? <laughs> I hear donkeys out here. Okay, that's a harpoon. What are you gonna do with a fishing harpoon? Stop, okay. Look, look at, she's doing it. She's doing it. 
with the mom in sight. Viri is a wolf talker. Okay, and plus one. Animal population reached 10, plus one knowledge. Hell yes. And a new subscriber. Thank you, Laura. Welcome. If you're watching live, you might be watching another video of mine. Uh, my, milestone unlocked population control. Okay, one more. We just need one more, and we're unlocking goat domestication. Uh, probably by harvesting our first crops, we're going to get some of that. Uh, this is great. Walled settlements is something we're probably going to save for tomorrow's live stream. Um, I think that'll be the case. Milestone. Oh, yes, show me. Animal control. Unlock the power of nature. Indeed. Um... It was cold in my room, so I didn't want to leave the warmth of my bed. <laughs> what? Get, get a tablet. Or watch it on your TV. <laughs> but it's cold in my house today, too, Jay. I know the feeling. I went to bed too early and stayed up and stayed in bed too long today for a productive, self-employed adult. We now have ten dogs. How cool is that? Give me one more knowledge point. That's coming soon, I'm sure. Uh, very tiny supply of meat. We have almost no meat. We gotta go on a hunt. We gotta go on a hunt. This is a old Orox? It must be. Adult male. Okay. It's not as scary as we've seen before. Uh, let's have a look at it over here. Okay, and then when we're done, we'll kill this pig. Now, the Orox fights back, especially the males. So I hope we don't get that situation where one person gets here first and runs in with an axe instead of a spear or a bow. But... They're, they're humans. I can micromanage it to a certain degree, trying to get them to group up and attack together, but if they insist on going... What is it? What's the thing? What, what do you shout when you run into combat? Leroy Jenkins? If someone wants to Leroy Jenkins it, uh, there's nothing I can do. She doesn't look like she has a spear, though. Okay, she has the uh, sling. So she's the first one. She is going to get gored, but she does have some, some uh, support coming right behind with a bow. So there you go. She got gored, but it should die. Yes, okay. And then if I go escape, how many adults made it out here to, to hunt? Three, okay. So let's, while we're here, go kill this as well. We'll send someone else to <clears throat> harvest that. And then what kind of a herd is this? That's a donkey herd. There's wolves down there. The donkeys are a hard hard one to kill. The cow the cow and the pig should do us well. Uh, I could put more people on fishing, but this is not the time of year to really fish. We're really going to have to get the, the crops going. It's, it's summer, so they ought to be getting harvested soon. I don't think he attacks. I think he flees. And good. Now we got a guy with a bow leading the attack. Oh, he doesn't even know. You ain't even know. This is where you die, pig. You shouldn't have tried to cross this river, you stupid hog. You swine moron. Okay, now here's the problem. Here's the problem. Mama bear. That's a baby bear. Okay. Did the mama care? The mama didn't care. Okay. That's fine. We should be able to harvest all of this then. You harvest this real quick. You harvest this. You can't. You didn't. You don't have a knife, or your hands are full, and you're very tired. Okay. Somebody coming out to do the boar, and the... Okay. First animal hunted bear. There's no way that's the first bear. What are you talking about? But I got a point for that, so let's not complain. <laughs> Goat domestication. 
Okay, and we know there's an Ibex on our borders. Oh, there's another boar herd. Uh, I'm gonna get some more adults. Uh, I think those are mostly adults right here. Minus this one. And minus the house. And why don't you guys go and hunt this? They go to get weapons. Why don't you go and hunt this one? Why don't you go and hunt one of the babies? And why don't you go Thoron and hunt the other baby? And see if we can get that whole herd. And then I will send some humans out to do the gathering. Uh, I need grown adults though. Adult female. Harvest this. You don't have a knife? Or you do? You do, but your hands are full. God, everybody's so busy. Okay, how about you? Stop praying, Jarak. Get to work. What's wrong? Okay, I don't know what's wrong. Okay, let's let's have a look. We'll have to build a, a sort of uh, stables for the goats, uh, I think. Production. Uh, residence? No, sorry. Build. Is it residence? No. Storage. It's not a haystack. It would be storage hut, warehouse, granary. It's none of the above. So here, let's click here. Domestication text allows you to tame wild animals. Once the tech is researched, you will be able to capture the wild animals. Uh, make sure you have enough capacity in your stables. What is required for the stables? Stables are huts where settlers gather domestic animals to keep them protected. Stables are fairly durable, but they need periodic repairs. Th it requires thatching. So don't do it in the order I did, unless I can buy thatching off this trader, which would be convenient. No, I can buy sheep domestication, which isn't going to help me much. You aren't selling much of anything I want. I'll buy those leather outfits, I'll buy the straw, and I will sell you... Uh... Ah, uh, God. I don't have much to... <laughs> Alright, let's do that as a trade. Okay? Four new humans have joined. Wild boar has escaped. Alright, I don't know what happened to all the humans I sent out to go do that. Is this the bear? Is this the mama bear? Yeah, that is the bear. Oh, what is this? Donkey herd? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Situation's probably under control. We've probably got enough meat uh, for the foreseeable future. Barley, einkorn, and emmer. How cool! How cool! This is much better for our civilization, I think. Uh, we'll have a big supply of bread come winter. And how are the how are the rivers? We got lots of fish in them. All right, let's go ahead and put an extra fisherman on each of these uh, fishing spots. That one's dead. That one's pretty dead. And that one's pretty dead, so let's not bother with that. Um, okay, fantastic. The sickles are what we're going to need when the weather changes. We have 17 of them. How are we doing down here? Making more. And I'm going to take bows off automatic in this one, because I've got bows automatic on this one. Uh, leather and... Yeah, okay, okay. All right, uh, I think... Someone someone here to do this? What is that? A cave lion eating my kill? What a mess. What a mess. Can you hunt? You can't hunt. You can only harvest. Harvest this bear. Uh, do you have a spear on you? You don't. Give me a couple of, a couple of strong adults. Let's go scare this cave lion off. I got carried away. Why am I killing so many things? <clears throat> My children are passing very close to this cave lion. I don't like it. A 
I guess if you're smart, you can position your hunters and push a herd towards your settlement where uh, they can be easily slaughtered instead of having to chase them down like those boars. I sent four hunters after each of the individual boars in the herd. That's probably less than ideal. Alright, are you guys still going after that lion? Don't bother. Don't bother. Come out here. You harvest. Uh-huh. You come out and get this stuff, I guess. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so when do these get harvested? Dried fish, plus one knowledge point. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, I don't like the lack of food. It's starting to worry me. There was points when I had so much. Well, I guess, so here here it is. This is what we'll need for the goat domestication. Uh, is this herd right here, I think. So let's keep an eye on them. Let's get let them get close to us. In fact, maybe I could use a single hunter. What task are you doing, Hamid? Let's go up here. Oh wait, maybe I can use you. Are you a hunter? You are. See if you can take out this and scare them towards camp. Okay. Yep, they're being scared towards camp right now. Okay. Wow, I'm sending way too many people to kill a tiny pig. I wonder if I can domesticate the goats before I get the stables. I wonder what happens there. Okay. Because... It shouldn't be too hard if I send a lot of humans out to go kill the males. And we mark these for capture. These babies. We'll see what happens. Because they need it for protection more than they need it for... Alright, we'll see what happens. So this one's being hunted, that one's being hunted. Those are all the adults. I don't know if I can hunt. You can't capture the adults, right? Okay. this all right so three babies marked for capture they're trying to herd up with their parents we've got a human hunter right down here right now about to scatter the herd yet again all right okay can you you can't harvest so keep hunting You're a harvester, so go harvest this. Okay. Oh, those goats ran. There you go. Go get this one. Hunter only. Hunter only. Alright, I need more harvesters. Alright, there you go. Adults have been killed. 
Okay, now 250 meat. All right, we're, cu we're chugging along, guys. We're a little over two hours. This has kind of been like how long it feels like it takes to make some real progress in this game. So that's how long we've been taking, but we are nowhere near completing the Neolithic Age. Nowhere near. It's been a much slower process gaining the uh, knowledge points this time around. Even though I fast forwarded a lot, maybe we have some as we get, you know, not enough stable space for our animals. Indeed. Okay. So that is fine, I think. We'll see what happens. But we now have a baby goat. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'll probably just keep getting warnings. Not enough winter clothing, but we should be able to make that soon. Yeah, 10 raw skin. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Did some work. I imagine I'm just going to see wild goats wandering around here. Okay. Diseases affecting the crop. Emmer 11. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what to do about that, really. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Not enough space for animals. Okay, grain plus ten is a knowledge plus one. I think we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty far on that, and then we'll have bread. We'll hit a bread uh, achievement, I imagine. Okay, flour ten. Th there you go. We just need a little bit more, and we can build those stables. I don't know what else we'll get it from, but. Should be coming soon. I won't get another one till we, till we harvest, uh, till we hit winter. Once we get through winter, I will definitely have one. How? I wonder what happened to those goats we we captured. I don't see them around town. More campfires is probably going to be good over time, because uh, those are used. And you know what? Another one of these is probably going to be good. This turns the grain into flour. So I will... Okay, some of your people have no warm clothing yet. Tell me about it. I know. Build uh, production, and we'll build a mortar. Not enough stable space for animals. I know that. Mortar here, and I'll have, try and find a great place for another campfire. Okay, the layout of my town is kind of going to crap a little bit. We can always redo it. Harvest through the fall. Good stuff. Okay, I should probably not be fishing quite so much. This time of year is kind of pointless. Not many fish. Some of your people have no warm clothing. We're working on it. Working on it. Okay, we now have... Uh, is that this? Yes, I know. Oh my god, stop telling me. So, do thatching before you do any domestication. That is a bit of advice, because uh, thatching opens up the stables. Without the stables, you can't, uh, you can't do, you can't properly do the domestication. Oh, here you go. Look. Goat. That's our young female goat. But they, it needs a stable. But we've got it. We've got the young goat. Cool. The dogs leave it alone. It's a nice, happy family. <clears throat> Thank you, Ewan, for hanging out. And uh, I see there has been some progress, some extra hunts made. Yes, I did hunt the mammoth today. It was disastrous. 
not the actual killing of it. That went smoothly. But we traveled, uh, basically, I'll show you. We went uh, down this river, across this lake, and we killed it right here. And you can still see we have a couple of abandoned sledges. That's where the meat pile was. And there was also a couple of old female bears around here that ravaged all the children that came out here to collect the meat. It was a terrifying experience. I won't be doing it again. And then I've managed to actually uh, manually tame some dogs by killing the uh, male, the adult uh, wolves. Uh, so we did that over here. We killed uh, two uh, young wolves and a old wolf and we got or sorry two adult wolves and a young wolf or an old wolf and we got three young wolves that we were able to tame for ourselves ah weaving that's not the one i need thatching is the one i need all right so i will buy what will i buy from you i'll buy your winter outfits i will also buy your flower as it is cheap and i will buy your straw as it is cheap uh, I will even buy your bones. They are also cheap. Hell, I'll buy your leather. I'll buy I'll buy all, a lot of this stuff off you. Um, okay, so that's a trade value of 99. You can have one bow. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven harpoons. You can have uh, one, two of these, and then I will throw in... Oh, I need some tree chop in action, don't I? Uh, did I buy bones? Let's not buy bones. Trade value 91. Okay, so I'll take this back and I will give you one something. Oh, you know what? I won't buy your straw either. Or I'll only buy one straw. Because we've now got our own supplies. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and we'll keep production of bows going. We'll keep production of summer and winter clothing going. We're closer to the number we need to get people for winter. And then here I'm mainly just doing tools. That is kind of the primary. Uh, but I guess things like the bow use leather. Um, so we really, we really need to get the stables going. I wonder why we didn't finish harvesting this crop yet. Running out of time, guys. Running out of time. Get that. I think I planted too many crops for our population size. Um, I know I need a new wood chopper. Uh, so we'll chop some new trees. Uh, why don't I ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, do this in tree chopping zone? I want to leave some on the edge of the civilization. So we'll do a new patch out here. And I'll put. Where's the actual sign? It's invisible. It's completely gone. There it is. And we'll put two people to work. Three people to work out here. Okay. Water supplies are good. Not a lot of sticks. So, I guess because this area is almost completely depleted. I think it is completely depleted. Let's remove that and we'll do a new stick gathering area. We have, we have a goal, a fantastic one up here if we want it. Alright. I'll put a couple of the children to work up here. Do I still have a hunting area? I don't think I do. Am I... Oh, those are the traders. Okay. Those are the traders. What do we got? Any any opportunistic killings? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay. So what we'd want to do is we'd want to scare them across the river. Okay, so there's one. There's one. There's one. Okay. Now how about you? Uh, nope. How about you? Nope. You. No, man. I don't have that many hunters. Where are all the bows and stuff? Alright, so there's one. I think this. 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 One of these two? I can't remember who has a bow or not. But let's send you over here. No, I just want you to go. I don't want you to do a thing. Right, untab. We'll be able to kill some of these pigs. If we do it right, we won't startle them, and we'll startle them across the river into the camp. Okay. Okay, we did startle them.
Alright, so that did not go as I wanted. Why? Where are you guys going? Where? Wh why would you swim across that river? Who has a knife? Anyone bring a knife? This this person. You will have to do all the butchery. Okay, and then you continue the hunt. Push on, get the adults. This baby can be marked for domestication. Uh, all of these baby goats can be. One, two, and three. Okay, hunted Ibex, knowledge plus five. We just need one more, really. I just need one more uh, properly. And I need some humans with knives. Uh, you got a knife? Yes, you do. You got a knife? Yes, head over here. Harvest this. Harvest this. Where was the other one? Oh, this? Oh, it's not even dead yet. Okay. Well, we're doing okay, I think. I don't know exactly what's happening. It's hard to micromanage these freaks. Uh, but we killed killed a couple of beasts. Should keep our meat supply going because it is v stupidly low. God, our meat supply is very low. But we have bread now. Look at that. 17 bread. So this is going to be good. One more. Give me... Let's get the stables built before we end the stream today, guys. I think that'll be the plan. Um, I need to... Okay. Either that crop died. That crop did die. So we do have too much crop land for our people. I think what I will do for next year, let's disband uh, well, let's see. Let's disband this and this. Uh, this. This. And this. So that should free it up, and then I'll do three across the bottom of this. One. Two. Three. No, oh, four. Okay, so that should make it better for next season, I think. Should have people coming back with meat and whatnot. Yes, good job. I don't know if we ever got those baby goats. Okay, here's one that needs to be extracted. There's a goat that needs to be wrangled. Do you have the knife? Come extract this, please. And someone else can do the goat wrangling. Okay, population, animal population limit 15, fantastic, that's the new goats, and now let's do thatching required for stables, so thatching, done, okay, thatching unlocked, this is a huge one guys, specifically because of this, hut and stables, so the stables we will have to build, let's, let's plan this out, let's get out of this mode, and let's see what makes the most sense, probably right up here. Uh, I'm going to rotate, and we'll tuck it in. Uh, well, maybe right here, on the edge of the farmlands. Okay, we'll build that by winter. Well, it is winter, but by the coldest days of winter, we will have a spot built for our people, uh, for our goats. Let's prioritize. And, okay, a little bit of hunting being done. Somebody out here to wrangle this goat, Karen. Chill out, you little goat. 500 sticks is plus one knowledge. Okay, we're getting there, slow and steady. I like it. Not enough stable space for our animals. Not yet. Not yet. And then I wonder how the housing works. Do you think we have to just upgrade what we've got? Or not? These are tents. Yes, upgrade to huts. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, let's upgrade the old neighborhood first. Let's upgrade the... Uh, you know what? Let's save some of that for tomorrow. Let's save some of that for tomorrow. Because I can upgrade this to a storage hut. That'll be the first thing we do tomorrow is mass upgrades. Let's get the stable built. Let's not uh, divide our workforce. Um, and keep the warm clothing being made, please. Whatever you can. Cancel the bows. 
how many we need. That should do it. Okay. Okay, we've got a couple of these going now, the mortars. People turning the grain into flour. The flour is being cooked on campfires. Nowhere. None of my campfires are active, but uh, somewhere they will be. And the population grows. 35 and counting. Room for 54. Okay, and look at this. Coming back with meat from the hall. These sledges are fantastic. What a great invention. Imagine the difference that made for early humanity. That would, And for us, that makes a huge difference. That would have been three trips. What's your problem? You're cold? Go home, get on that winter clothing, I tell you what. Let's let's focus on this. Let's get this done. Pending materials. Mud? Mud? We gotta start gathering mud. Okay. Uh, okay. Fun challenges. I like it. Uh, extract mud. Okay, let's do, let's do mud here. Okay. And I'm just going to disband. No, I'll leave the fishing area. But we got mud there, and I'll do another mud gathering area here. Uh, oh. I think that one's still there. Let's do another mud, mud gather right here. I'll put some people on it. All right. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I need to manually do that. That's fantastic. I want to check out our flint mines. We now have a huge supply of flint, which is fantastic. I think I need to upgrade the flint storage limit, which uh, I can only do if I have a flint area. Is that right? Right. How do I can manage storage limits again? Let's go into uh, manage limits flint increase that because we use it for every tool in the game. And I haven't been making flint spears for a long time, but those can probably go back into production as well because uh, flint was such a rare resource for us. So, all right. I like it, guys. I think we're doing quite well. Uh, it's, it was a rough rough points, a couple points today. But once we get this stable built, I'm going to feel really good. Um, we've got goats just wandering loose around the community. Uh, a lot of dogs. Okay, that's a dog. Good, good. Every once in a while, I think I see a cave lion. So uh, that just needs eight mud. Who's on mud gathering duty? Anybody? Yes, lots of people. So Thoron, Girizor, Koranok, Gorag, and Zamzor all <laughs> see, love that. Uh, all going for mud. Oh, and you're fishing. You're fishing. Let's check the other mud location. Yes, you're okay, Thoron. Mud gathering. Perfect. Let's fast forward. We'll get this stable built. I should probably build a second one almost right away. I think that would be good. I love it, guys. I love the feel of the game. Acquired. 10 n mud plus 1 knowledge. Awesome. Get this finished. Get this finished. Drop off the mud. Deliver it. And so what we're doing here, guys, is we're combining, like, the straw, I believe. I can't remember what else was involved in this, but it looks like straw, with mud and making more durable walls. There you go. Here we go. Let's check it out. Buckets of mud. Yes, with thatch woven. Put a lid on it. Roof it up. And this is what we're going to do to all our houses starting starting uh, tomorrow when we do the... Uh... Thoron has contracted a disease. She was one of the mud gatherers. I guess that makes sense. Oh, and look at that. Look at that, like, stucco bottom that we've got. Raider attack. This is new. Hold on pause what is a raider attack holy hell this is gonna be an epic way to end the stream here guys get me off of this camera raider attack here 
Oh. Two? Is that what you brought? Is that the kind of heat you brought? You are not ready for us. You are not ready for this gigantic population. You should have just joined this community. I mean, you guys aren't even going to get past the dogs. Let's wait to see where, when and where you swim across the water. Because, go here. Hurry up, let's get them while they swim. Oh, there is no swimming here. What are you doing, child? Go home, Mamka. Go home, let the adults handle this. Look at these raiders. You know what you would have to, you know how crazy you would have to be to walk up to what you're, what you're seeing right here and decide to attack? Get destroyed. Ho ha! Yeah! Did you see that? We celebrated. Of course we would celebrate. Can we harvest these for meat? It's not that kind of a game, is it? <laughs> that would be a very bad way to go with your civilization. First raider killed, knowledge plus two. <coughs> and Karen has died of a disease. Not enough stable space for our animals. Well, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Chill out. Three new humans have joined the settlement. Yeah, probably the other three that were coming on the attack saw how it started and went, Hey, guys, looking for new people? Looking for some new folks to hang out with? We're nice. Don't mind this red clothing we're wearing. <laughs> Listen to our people. They're still celebrating. Here's our newbies. An old man and two old women. Getting on... You got warm clothing for these guys? Not yet. Not yet. Population growing too fast. Okay. Stables constructed. Awesome. Now, how many can this hold? Is this done? Now it's done. Awesome. It can hold... Uh, 10 animals. And this lot can contain animal food. So feed animals is automatic. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to put another one under construction, guys. But I think um, for today, I think that makes a good uh, good uh, beginning uh, to our journey. Uh, I think we'll find like a nice... Uh, let me spin the camera around. And I like putting it next to the farmer's fields. It'll look like a farmhouse or something. So we'll put another one of those into construction. It requires a total of two logs, four sticks, four straw, and eight mud. This should be great. Here's one of our little goaties. One of our little goaties. Look at his poor health. It is limping. Okay, get into the get in here, you cutie. Let's get you into the let's get you into your stable. Oh, poor little thing. Poor little thing. I tamed it and I wasn't ready to tame it. You can do it. You can do it. Get in here. It's warm. We got food for you and everything. You too. Good. Good job. Good job, you little goatee. Uh-huh. You too. Uh-huh. Survive the winter plus one knowledge. Okay, so by the time we come in tomorrow, guys, uh, we should be ready to make some real progress. We got people planting crops. We got a second one of these stables underway that we'll be able to use for pigs or whatever we choose to unlock with our next knowledge point. We could do uh, sheep, sorry. Um, we could get into weaving, which is better clothing. That is the linens and whatnot. We could build a bridge with stilting. We could build a megalith. That is probably a great choice uh, just because it'll get us some immediate points back. We could dig a well so our people don't have to go to the edge of the water. We could build walls if those raiders to continue to attack. We could also move on to pigs, pulse, or flax domestication. And then after all is that is, of that is done, uh, at some point tomorrow or Wednesday, we will unlock the Copper Age. We are well on our way to advancing through this game and, and, uh, and showing off everything that it has to offer. So far, we have only showed off a little bit. We are into the Neolithic era, but these are still Stone Age humans. We want to get uh, to the era where they begin making metal tools, forging uh, ores into uh, into ingots that they are into, just straight into tools. That's probably how it works. We've got dogs. We've got goats. 
We've survived yet another winter and our population is growing. Guys, I'm having a blast with Dawn of Man. I'll pop up on your screen a playlist for more Dawn of Man uh, so you can continue to watch the series. Uh, this is the third episode and we did an episode zero showing off the game as well. But I think for today, we're going to call it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm UTC. I appreciate the love and support on the series. Click the like button if you haven't. If you're watching the replay, hit me up in those comments. And no matter what you're doing, if you're watching the replay, click on uh, the playlist popping up on your screen now for more Dawn of Man. Thank you. And I, I'm off to go build a brigantine in Atlas. So I've got an afternoon of Atlas planned. I'll be recording instead of streaming. Uh, but uh, I'll be back in your life with another stream of this tomorrow morning. So thank you guys. I will see you then.